Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video I'm going to show you how to put together my layered sloth SVG. Look how cute he is hanging from the tree with the leaves and then inside the body you've got all of these cute little leaves and flower shapes. And then this has got lots of layers to give you a really nice 3D effect. Now this SVG is free to download from my website craftwithsarah.com or check out the description of this video for a link to the exact page where you can get the file. So let's see how it looks when you open it up in Cricut Design Space. So I downloaded the file from my website, I unzipped the folder and then I've uploaded the SVG into Design Space so it's showing in my recently uploaded files. If you're not sure how to do any of that, check the description of this video and I'll link to another video I've done where I go through the whole process step by step. I'm going to click on insert images and that's going to put it onto my project. Now there's a little weirdness going on in Cricut Design Space at the moment which is when you load an SVG in it comes in really really big so this is 12 inches tall which is way too big to cut on my Cricut because the width is 19 inches which is going to be bigger than my Cricut mat. So you want to make sure when you put it into Design Space that you resize it to something suitable. So I believe I did mine at about 9 inches wide and that will look just fine. But of course you can resize it to whatever you want and if you're making a shadow box or a frame then the best thing to do is to measure your frame first so that you get a better idea of what size to make the sloth. When you're ready to cut simply hit make it and then you can change the size of your card if you need to and then follow it through, complete the cutouts and then let's see how to stick it together. So here are my layers all cut out and I've just laid them in the correct positions. Um, I like to do this just to make sure I've cut everything out, that I'm happy with the colours and that I haven't lost any of the little pieces. So let's pull these apart and start sticking them together. So the bottom layers are these two and I'm going to stick these together with 3D foam pads. My pads are quite big so they do come on a... Um, a sheet like this but I've just cut them in half with a pair of scissors um, just so that they last a little bit longer I don't need them to be too big all right so I'm gonna turn this layer over and this is the one with the little flower in that back leg and turn it upside down and add some foam pads I like to make sure I've got a piece of foam in any little pieces that stick out like these leaves and then just a good amount across the rest of the design. You want to make sure you put enough on there that it's going to have a nice firm stick to that layer underneath. And I'm also making sure that I put some of these foam pads in the middle of any big open um, spaces of card. So uh, big shapes of card I should say, not spaces. You don't want to put any over the gaps. But you just want to make sure you've got these foam pads all the way along and in the big sections of card, I don't know what to call it. Um, and the reason we put the foam pads in there is because it stops the card from sagging down once all the other layers go on top. So these ones in the middle are adding that stability to give it the depth and make sure we don't get a little droopy middle. Alright, so I'm going to peel the tops off of these foam pads to release the stickiness. And now I can pick this up, bring that bottom layer in, and then I'm going to stick this on top, lining it up with the edges of that bottom layer. There we are. I'm just going to push down to make sure all of those foam pads are nice and stuck. The next layer is the tree trunk. Here it is. And again, I'm going to use 3D foam. So I'll turn this upside down and add the foam. Now I can pick this up, bring my base layers back in, and once again, just stick this over the top, lining it up along the edges of what's already there. There we have it. Alright, so next it's up to you. You can either continue to do the sloth or you can do the leaves. I'm going to do the sloth first and the leaves last. So the next layer of my sloth is this one and once again I'm going to use the foam. I want to make sure I put a little piece of foam 
in these uh, hands or feet, not quite sure what it would be, so that they stick nicely, otherwise they might be a bit delicate and we don't want them to accidentally be ripped off. So a nice piece of foam in them will make sure they stay all sturdy. Let's stick this on and I'm lining it up using the bottom of the design where we've got that body shape of the sloth. Okay, the next layer is this one and I'm actually going to use glue for this because as you can see it's very, very thin. I probably could do it with foam pads because I could put the foam underneath the head and the feet and there are some thicker parts around the edge but I think glue is going to be a lot easier and it's going to give me a better stick. So let's turn this upside down and then I've got some tacky glue which I like because it has a nice thin nozzle on it. For some reason I've convinced myself I've not got that the right way around but I do. Okay so let's put a bit of glue in here. You want to make sure you don't put too much on um, because what you don't want is to stick this on and then have all the glue kind of smush out the sides. So be careful when you're adding it, just to do a little bit. It does dry clear, so it's not the end of the world if any of it does come out, but it will look neater if we can keep that glue contained. So I'm going to add a few little bits of glue inside some of these leaf shapes, because I want it to have a very nice firm stick all the way along. I don't want it to kind of come up at any point so just a nice amount of glue in some of those spaces and now I can turn this over and stick it on. Oh we've got a dog hair on that. Most of my crafts end up having dog hairs on them like an extra gift. <laughs> there we go. So I'm hoping you can see that the two shades of brown that I used are actually very similar. Um, it would have been better with probably a little bit more difference between the two colours but that is what I had. Okay the next piece is the main shape of the head. I'm just going to go on here and for this one we're going to switch back to the foam because we want a nice amount of depth to make it look like that head is closer than the body when you're looking at the sloth. Alright, so I'm going to line that up using the two little tufty bits of hair to know where to stick it. There we are. The next layer I'm going to add is the detail in the face because this will help me know where I need to put the eyes. So one more with foam. Add some pieces in here. Make sure your foam doesn't go over the gap for the nose or the mouth, otherwise you'll see it through the hole, which we don't want. So this lines up so that there is a piece of the border of the main head all the way around. And then it just goes a little bit closer to the bottom of the head than it does to the top. You can refer back to Design Space if you aren't sure exactly where to put it. Alright, so next I've got the eyes and these come in two parts. I've got a white bit and a black bit for each. First I'm going to use some glue and then glue the black pieces on top of the white ones. So just a little bit of glue. And then I can and these. I'm sorry if you can see loads of uh, gold sparkly bits on my craft mat. I got a new glitter spray and was trying it out and didn't realise that it had pretty much covered everything so I do need to get a new craft mat. Um, so if it's a bit shiny then apologies for that. Alright so once you've stuck the two eye bits together then you can decide if you want to just glue them onto the head 
or if you want to use foam to give them a little bit of depth. So it really is up to you. I think I'm going to glue mine because I like how the little nose part pops out a bit further away. But of course foam would work really well too. So let's just put a little bit of glue inside each of those and then position the eyes so that the little white circle is near the top sort of pointing towards the tuft of the hair. There we are, so Mr Sloth is now finished. We've just got to add the leaves on either side of the tree. Here are my leaves, there are three layers for each side. Let's start with the bottom one and I'm just going to line these up to make sure I've got them the right way around. So make sure the leaves on the green match up with that brown underneath. There we go, and then I'm going to use foam for these to turn them round, and I think just one little piece in each of those leaf shapes will be fine. And there is two. Alright, next it's the darker colour green and again I'm going to just line these up first to check I've got them the right way around. So the big leaf, the big darker coloured leaf should cover the top leaves. So as I've got it here, that the, the top leaf, the darker one, completely covers that lighter one underneath. I put a poll up in my Facebook group yesterday asking what designs um, my members would like to see added to my site and I was really hoping that someone would say sloth because that's what I'd been designing that day uh, but I hadn't told anyone yet and luckily somebody did say sloth so hopefully this will be a design that you like. <laughs> But it was a really good poll to do because I got loads of ideas for the future. Dragons apparently, very, very popular, and roses. So that has definitely given me some ideas. Alright, so these little leaves remaining, I'm just lining them up to check I'm happy. And then I can add just, I think, one piece of foam on the back of each of these. It doesn't really matter which way up they go, so don't worry too much. And then one piece of foam on that one. Stick that in place. And there we go. Our lovely little sloth is all finished. I think he is super cute, and I hope that you like him too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut Craft tutorials. And don't forget to get this free layered sloth SVG to cut with your Cricut or other cutting machine. Head on over to craftwithsarah.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.